Welcome to What About, the show where we blend delicious dishes with delightful dialogue. Each week, we serve up fresh new episode featuring a special guest ready to tickle your taste buds and your funny bone. So get ready for a feast of flavors and laughter that'll keep you coming back for seconds. Such a great intro. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. I'm your host, <laughs> Sleepless Giraffe, and this is my stepson, Wes, and his girlfriend, so Lindsay. Yes. All right. Welcome, guys. Welcome. So today we're going to be trying, I need glasses for this. Hang on. Golden Cracklins fried out pork fat with attached skin. Butcher's cut. Yeah, that sounds funny. Double cooked. What's the difference between Double cooked. regular pork rinds? What's a butcher's cut? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 16 servings per container. Holy cow. That's, uh, uh yeah. That's that, a lot. That means you don't eat very much of this. Okay. All right. I eat like a whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. It, it's probably actually pretty good. So we've also got Sino Rico uh, rice pudding. Right? Don't know if you've had this before. Maybe good. I don't know. I, I think I've ate rice pudding before. Maybe at like, uh, um, maybe at like Golden Crow or something. I'm not I sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got some uh, Libby's pineapple juice. I'm I'm pretty interested in seeing how this tastes because we uh, typically buy Libby's vegetables, um, and they're they're usually pretty good. So uh, I think that's good. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Twinkies. Mystery flavor. How about that? Um, so, who know, who so knows what that tastes like? I have no idea. I'm just wondering, is the whole box one flavor or is every one of them different? Like, is every Twinkie in the box a different flavor or is it, they all the same? That's part of the mystery. Are we supposed to guess what it is? Um, well, well, we can try that. We can try that when we get to it, that's for sure. Yeah, we're, we're so definitely going to try to guess. Hopefully it doesn't taste like pork or... You know, yeah, beef or yeah, barbecue, barbecue Twinkies. Yeah, barbecue. Oh, yeah, barbecue <laughs> Twinkies. All right, so we're gonna roll out some questions we're, before we try any of this stuff. So, what's uh, what's what's some of your favorite foods? What's what's some of your favorite foods, Wes? Uh, what like do you what do you like run lasagna. to? I like Italian food. Lasagna, Italian, Italian food. Lasagna, yeah. That's a lot of good stuff there, man. Pizza, especially. I could probably eat pizza every day. What about you, Lindsay? Home cooked like mashed potatoes, chicken. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, a nice uh, fried chicken dinner. Yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, all that, all that's hard to beat too. All all of it's good. There's not too many foods I don't like. I don't think. But I haven't tried them all yet, obviously. Right. But uh, so, Lindsay, what do you what do you detest? Detest. Yes. What 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 is it? You just you just can't. There's no way it's going in this mouth. Oh, um, we're gonna give him uh, time to think this time. I'm always, well, not too big on sauerkraut. Sauerkraut? No. Oh, yeah, I don't eat sauerkraut often, but sauerkraut is. Uh, no, I can't really say that because I've given it a try and it wasn't that bad. Did you know I had somebody ask me uh, at work the other day uh, for sauerkraut juice? Ooh. I didn't even know that that was uh, a thing, but yeah. I looked it up and apparently it is. We didn't sell it, but uh, sauerkraut juice. How about that? Isn't I guess, appealing. well, yeah. you could get the juice, right? Maybe soak cabbage in it because that's what, isn't that what uh, sauerkraut is? Is it cabbage? I believe so. Or is it its own separate I'm not, plant? I couldn't, I'm, you can, don't give me a line. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you, Wes? What, what do you detest? Uh... You've had time to think, man. I don't, I don't really know. I don't. I like. You like everything? Well, I don't know if I like everything. Like I know in like uh, European countries they eat horse meat. I don't think I would be interested in that at all. I'm not sure that, that. Well, no. This is something you've already tried. Oh, that I've already tried. Yes. Oh, I like everything pretty much. Yeah. Everything I've tried, I like. You much. like liver? Yeah. Oh, that's gross. That's so gross. Well, Do you it. like liver? I haven't tried. It. Stay away from it, Brian. <laughs> I mean, Brian. Grew up on in the country. Uh, what about drinks? What's your favorite drink? Ooh. What do you run to? Coke? Uh, tab? I had somebody say, or I, I think I had a tab question come up the other day. I like juice. Like what? I like what juices. Kind? Like, um... Specific. Uh, it's too broad. Like There's a lot of like juice. Like mini made juices? Well, no, like orange, Flavor. grape. Flavor. Yes. Tropical. Yeah. Tropical. Oh, yeah. Tropical. 
punch. Yeah. <clears throat> Good stuff, Wes. Not too big a fan on the orange juice. Yeah. I like grape juice and apple Pulp? juice. Pulp? No. no. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I like uh, the uh, Arctic Blast Gatorades. No? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love them. Arctic Blast Gatorades. Um, yeah. Mountain Dew. Oh. That was probably my two. Coffee. Oh, coffee. Coffee is my favorite. Oh, yes. Yeah. Coffee is definitely <laughs> yeah. way up there on my yeah, I'm way coffee. up there. I don't think it affects me much, but I, I don't know. Jack so what do you, what's your least favorite drink, Wes? Cherry anything. I don't like cherry. Cherry? Drinks. Yeah. Oh. Unless it's Kool-Aid. Cherry Kool-Aid's all right, but like cherry, cherry, like cherry flavored pops, I don't really care. For yeah. Them. Yeah. Lindsay? I don't like any sodas. No sodas. Yeah, almost makes me puke. Oh, I'm okay with Sprite, but I don't like. That's a good thing. Yeah, soda is is loaded yeah. with sugar. The carbonation, anything carbonated, I'm not too. You know, Sprite's it. carbonated, right? Yes, but I literally have to shake it up and make it flat before I drink it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you want to go, Lindsay? What? Where do you want to go? Where's one place that um you that's on your bucket list to go? You know, he just asked me this question not too long ago. That oh, should be easy. Then. I don't know. I don't know. Don't I've know. never left Evansville. Okay. All right. Right on. Right on. I'm probably going to go to a beach. Yeah? Yeah. Beaches? Yes. Beaches are very nice. There's, you have a lot of options as far as beaches are concerned. What about you, Wes? Uh, I would say Greece. Greece? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Coliseum and all yeah. that. Yes. That, that. Reminds me of the trip your mom and I took uh, to Mexico and uh, into the Yucatan to see Chichen Itza. It was just was awesome. If you know what that is, it's like a Aztec right. temple. Yeah, but it was huge. There was there was all kinds of pyramids. stuff there. Uh, yes, yeah. I guess you would call it. yeah well, that in, in Central America one of the pyramids. Yes, yeah. you know one of the cool things when we went there, uh, going to the temple, there were um, rows of vendors and it looked like people that come there and leave you know they weren't actually buildings they were like tents um and uh rugs and stuff like that and they had all these items laying out some of them were on shelves yada 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 and uh you go down there and it's just a haggling game the whole really? way down. yeah there's no prices marked on the majority of the stuff that'd be kind of cool huh. and and you could sit there and haggle with them uh, over it you know there was one thing i don't remember what it was but uh i had talked to the guy and i tried to I tried to get him to let me buy whatever it was for like thirty dollars, and and he he was up, and uh, he still wouldn't take thirty dollars for it. So we left. We started walking down. We got about six or seven vendors down. And he chased me down, told me he'd take it now. It's thirty dollars. It's like I already spent my money, man. I already hit my limit. I'm tight wide. You don't know that. All right. Well, I'm getting parts. So let's. Let's break open this pineapple juice. We know this is going to be good. Oh, I, should, really? I should probably shake it, right? Yeah. All right. Good shake never hurts. All right. We're going to... Give me a glass, Lindsay. I'm not going to let you pour it. Yeah, girl. <laughs> we'll pour it. We'll pour a glass for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we might need a so lot. I don't know. Ooh. Wes, you can pour yours. All right. Don't Watch me spill it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you spill stuff. <laughs> I do spill stuff a lot. All right. All right, let's see here. Whoa. You're not supposed to drink it yet. Yeah, you weren't supposed to. I broke the rule. Oh. Wow. That's all, right. That's all right. Well, go ahead and give us your opinion before we. Uh... We didn't. I didn't take the bigger drink, so I need. A, I need a bigger drink, so. Oh. All right. Jeez. All right. Well, we have to chew on something to. Uh... Oh, man. here, open this. <laughs> I've got broken hands right now. I'm getting ready to have surgery here in about a week. Really? Yes. For carpal tunnel. All right. Well, let's just. You know, it don't matter. There are a few out here. Whatever. I cleaned this table about a month ago, so it should be all right. Oh, man. <laughs> Did they really? Yeah. Oh, boy. All right, well, hmm. I hope, uh, well, they're double cooked, right? So we don't have to worry about them being raw, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, you want to see? Let's see what. I don't know what else. And it says your ultimate snacking experience is here. These golden cracklings are heartier, thicker, and packed with a punch of crunch. Served with salsa, guacamole, and more. You know, I have some guacamole in the in the refrigerator. <laughs> Your mom picked some up today. Um, I love bring home the crunch. So I guess these are going to be like uh, 
extra crunchy, so if you got, um, yeah, be careful. All right, let's do it. Let's let's try these. Oh god, it is crunchy. It's really crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to just go ahead. Not too bad. Kind of looks like a tentacle on an octopus. <laughs> it does, not it? So they're not bad. I mean, you know, especially if you want something crunchy, they're definitely like two or three times yeah. uh, tougher yeah. to bite into than... Uh, <laughs> And really dry. Then typically pork rinds. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, really all pork rinds are dry. Have you ate pork rinds before? I love pork rinds. Oh, okay. Hmm. This is like a crunch contest. I can just imagine what this sounded like in the mic. <laughs> I thought, yeah, this is my type of pork rind right here. They're actually cracklings. I don't like. Which is different than pork rinds. All right. I don't like it too done. This is perfect. Right on. Right on. Hey, so do you guys want to try rice pudding next or the Twinkies? Which one? It's my pick. Girls pick. Rice pudding. All right, so we're going to share a container on this. Uh, one serving uh, is one of this whole, this whole can. So let's see. It's got milk, sugar, rice, cream, natural flavors, rice flour, and salt, cinnamon, and contains milk. Hmm. Contains milk. Well, uh, yeah. Gotta be good then, right? Senor Rico. Authentico. Traditional. Very <laughs> cool. Arroz con leash. I, I don't, maybe that means uh, rice pudding. I'm not sure. Maybe in Spanish. <laughs> oh, look, it's got, so it's got, I don't know if you can see it. But it's got cinnamon on top of it. Oh, I like cinnamon. Are cinnamon. you guys cinnamon fans? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do the cinnamon yeah. zinch, the cinnamon nicotine bunches. Mm -hmm. I love cinnamon. So do you stir this up or? I would recommend it. I mean, you would probably yeah, you stir all that probably. cinnamon up in there. All right, I'll stir it up with mine. I don't want you guys to have to work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your guests on the show. I'm not going to make my guests work. Well, okay, I did make West Porter's drink. <laughs> I forgot about that. Part. It's okay. All right. I think I got a little bit. It looks like cottage cheese. I mean, it does. It does. I don't know. It's probably, I can probably tilt it a little easier now uh, that it's stirred up. Let me make sure I got the stuff off the bottom. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Everybody. Get you a spoonful of rice pudding. Oh, uh oh. All right. I already had to taste mine. You might have to throw it in quick. Oh. It's pretty good. That's not bad. You know, in recent oatmeal. yeah, in recent years, I've um, you know, I used to <laughs> I used to almost never eat rice. Go ahead, eat as much of it as you want. Um, I rarely really ate good. rarely ate it, and uh, it's pretty good. Then I got my instant pot. I got my instant pot, and I started making rice. I make all kinds of rice dishes now. That's pretty good. I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, you don't even need to rinse afterwards. No. All right. Mystery Twinkies. <laughs> Mystery flavor. Mm. What's the right way to open this thing? I thought they always had a little tear. Oh, there it is. Bifocus is getting me. All right. All right, man. I don't, like you said, I don't know if these are all the same. Uh, or if they're it's a bunch not, of different ones. Guess the flavor. So we do have to guess the flavor. It's a rule. The game on the box. Is that what you mean? No, it's just guess the flavor. Hmm. All right. So it's uh, yeah, my own flavor of Twinkies, uh, dude, Dad. I I don't know who this guy is. Maybe one of you guys out there knows him. Probably not. <laughs> um, too many ingredients to list. Uh, two hundred and eighty calories for two cakes. Servings per container, five. Golden sponge cake with creamy filling. Mystery limited edition. So I'm going to guess you can't get these here too much longer, but I don't know. Do, you, do you, either one of you, you dead. eat Twinkies? No. I'm not a big fan. Have you ever ate a Twinkie before? I mean, I guess you have. Maybe yeah. you have. 
Well, so what's your favorite little snack cake like this then? Uh, man. Like we eat a lot of ding dongs. Like fudge rounds. Yeah. Like fudge rounds. <laughs> oh yeah, fudge rounds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good fudge rounds. Yeah, fudge rounds are good. Anything with peanut butter in it's good. Yes. All right. Hmm. What's it smell like? Like. It just smells sweet to me. <laughs> that smells sweet. I don't know. All right, let's do it. Taste it, everybody. Guess what flavor it is. I'm terrible at this. Tastes like a fruit roll. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's weird. Like it changes, it's like it changes flavor halfway through it. So it's a rainbow flavors. I think it's lemon. Oh. Lemon? I mean, I, I think I kind of taste a little bit of lemon. But I don't know what the other... I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. Do you know what this mystery flavor is? I would love to know. Um, I mean, it's not bad. No. But if you guys want to take it with you, you can. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not going to say they're bad. I'm not saying they're bad. They're just... I don't know. They're all right. I mean, I could eat them. Uh, I wonder what they would taste like with some um, strawberries on top. Hmm. Some, uh, you know, strawberries have been soaking in sugar. Yeah. Oh, that might be good. Yeah, it might be good. Mm -hmm. I'm, you don't have to finish it. I'm trying to guess the flavor. Mm. Maybe it's orange. Maybe it's orange? Maybe. You think? Maybe. I don't know. Like citrusy. Yeah, I don't think it's orange. It's something citrusy. Mm-hmm. I'll ask Google. I'm going to tell you about this. Pineapple. Well, I don't think we could figure it out. Hey. We're not good at this. This pineapple juice is. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is him. This is good. We there's heard pineapple juice is good. There's plenty in there. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you guys some more questions. Feel free to snack and okay. just be ready to talk. Like be ready to swallow fast. <laughs> All right. Where do we leave off? Oh, <laughs> so this is a hard one, okay? And I'm gonna ask Lindsay first. Now you go ahead and eat. I'll no, ask no. Wes first, okay. or maybe you guys could like discuss and come up with one single answer. Okay, what's the question? Right? Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Why or why not? Ooh. I mean, I would. You know what is it? Is it a sandwich or not? I don't know what it would be considered, but no. I mean, I would think it'd be kind of a sandwich because there's you open it up and there's two pieces of bread, right? So a sandwich is typically two pieces of bread, isn't it? With stuff in between it. I mean... Is that not typically a sandwich? That's what I would think a yeah. sandwich is. So if is, you open up a hot yeah. dog bun, then it's, you know what I'm saying? If you break it all the way open, it's... Yeah, I mean, do you consider a hamburger a sandwich? Yeah. They call it sandwiches at restaurants, yeah. right? So why don't they call a hot dog a sandwich at a restaurant? You want a hot dog sandwich? You never hear that, do yeah, you? I don't, I don't know. Who wants a, a hot dog sandwich? A tough one. But I think it, I, I would consider it a sandwich. Yeah. I, I don't know why they don't call it that. That's disappointing. Come on, stay consistent. Yeah. Right? <laughs> a hot dog sub? Like anybody cares. Yeah. Sub? Is, yeah. it, is it a sub sandwich, though? Yeah. All right. So here, here's another tough one. Would you eat food that fell on the floor? Absolutely. <laughs> Five second Just rule. like anything? Five second rule. Like well, if I, don't, a, I don't know. Like, like, like if a like pizza shit. falls upside down? It depends on the floor. Yeah, it, de yeah, it depends on the floor. It doesn't depend on how hungry down. you are. It just depends on the floor. Is it the last piece of pizza? Well, I mean, it's if you're going to pick it up, it's obviously one that you want. Are there dogs around? Any well, animals I don't that, know. That shit hair. So wait a minute. It doesn't say put in all these stipulations. But it, does that matter? <laughs> well, I mean, it just you know, if it's a chip or something, yeah, I'll just I'll pick it up. And what about you? It if it's a chip. If it's it, a no, chip, it just depends on the floor. So it, okay, if you got dogs rolling around, uh, running around, would you would you uh, a would chip, you eat yeah, it then? A chip, but what if, not the pizza? No, no there's gonna be dog hairs in it. I give it to my dog. I'm cool. I don't. But if yeah. there's not any any critters or you know like yeah, and if the floor is clean, I mean if it's in my actual where I stay and it's clean and I know it's clean, yeah, I mean it. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I, I would have to agree. It's not it's not a yes or no question. 
It, it really depends on the circumstances. Yeah, absolutely. All the circumstances, right? The food, the environment. Absolutely. Whatever other circumstances there are. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. All right. Um, so, Wes, who would you like to meet? Oh, man. So, can it be a past person or present person? Someone that's living now or? Uh, it doesn't matter. Huh. Go ahead. I mean, do you want me to put that stipulation on? Because it's kind of pretty. Lindsay, do you have somebody already? That I would like to meet? Yes. Um, no. It's a lot of choices, right? I think I want to meet Nikolai Tesla. Uh, who's that? Is that, like, uh, uh, is that Elon Musk's son or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, Nikolai Tesla, he, he invented like, uh, so you got AC current or AC and DC. Mm -hmm. You got direct current. Like he invented, I'm pretty sure, nah, don't get me lying, but I'm pretty sure he uh, invented the direct current. Like, like he made a, but thing that would send out electricity to certain things, certain okay. receptors right. or whatever. And I mean, he was a genius and they, the government took a lot of his work. He was just a really smart man. I think I'd like to meet him. That'd be, that'd be an experience. Right on. Lindsay? Just cause you said, I really want to meet Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Yes. Oh yeah. He would be, uh, he would be, uh, interesting. That would be a very interesting going on in my head that we argue about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen, um, have you seen a couple of his last uh, videos? No. So he's making uh, humanoid-like robots. The chips, yeah. Robots. Yeah. He's actually got, I think, a hundred now yeah. in really? a production I plant, did see that. Huh. Uh, making stuff. But by like twenty thirty, I think it's supposed to be though. Those robots are supposed to be in, um, in high production. Yeah. Really. Or mass production. I've seen a video where they took over a coffee shop. Yeah. So, did you see uh, how much they were going to cost? The uh, the price range that he's targeting mm -mm. Uh, for people like us to Ooh. have one, it's like twenty or thirty grand. Wow. Get out of here. I'm cool. Can they <laughs> That's affordable. Can they clean my house? Because I'm. Done well, they should be able to that. do. Yeah, so, they should be able to do all that. I mean, they were showing it chopping up it. like they showed it I cooking. Really, yeah. yeah. If they can clean, clean I mean, house, I'm cool with that. Yes, I, I think that's... Uh, so it's, it pretty much you just have a butler, like an AI butler? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because you just have to pay that much for it and you, Let me know, make sure you, you know you don't, don't have to pay them to come clean your house? Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, why would you want to do that? <laughs> that's worth it. All right. So um, one, more, one more question. If, and this is for you first, Lindsay. <clears throat> if you could have a lifetime supply of anything... Huh. What would it be? Money. <laughs> money? Lifetime supply of money? That's, that's probably a pretty common... Uh, I would say a lot of people probably feel that way. Yeah. Wes? I don't know. You know, I there's was actually... There's a lot of things. <laughs> there is. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Right, lifetime supply would be cool. Well, yeah. You know, you know, I don't know. really... Probably banks. I can't really... <laughs> banks, yeah. Other than money. Probably banks. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Well, Gasoline. but we might not be dry. I don't know how much longer. Well, any type of fuel, whatever. So I didn't have to pay for fuel or or yeah or electricity to charge. Stuff, Man, you know, you know, I haven't ate dinner yet. So when I was thinking about this question earlier, the only thing that was popping in my head was like uh, a lifetime pass to eat at Golden Corral and you just go <laughs> there and eat every evening. And I mean, just think of how many different things you can eat. But, yeah, I love uh, Golden Corral. The buffet that I do it too. definitely seems endless, doesn't it? Yeah, you definitely can't try everything on one trip. I don't think. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I get full fast. Okay. So I've got a. Uh, oh, actually, I don't. I don't need these for this. I already know this in my head. Um. Do you know how long? Do you know how long it takes to fall to the center of the Earth? Oh, we're talking about the Earth. <laughs> yes. So, uh, like, falling straight from here <laughs> down to the core. Can I ask you a to question? To the middle of the core. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do you think the Earth is round or flat? I, it's round. <laughs> it's I've seen it. Words. I've <laughs> seen it. Okay, we're not going to get out of this. I've, we'll I've, discuss this later. I've actually been 10,000 feet in the air and jumped out of a plane. And you can see the curvature of the Earth from that height. 
and I've actually flown to like uh, you been 30 thousand feet well no she never left Evansville right. yeah right but there's time you're young you're gonna fly some point and you'll see that curvature anyway all right so how long how long does it take to fall to to the center of the earth west I guess I don't know just take a I random know. guess mm. Couple minutes, couple minutes, An hour. I don't know. To fall, if the I, Earth, I Earth was you... round, how long would it take to fall to the center of it? Oh, you just think I think that it's flat? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Minutes. It's okay if you do. I do. I mean, I it's all right. In, like a snow globe. So let's just pretend like it's round. How long do you think it would take to fall to the center of it? This is not all the way through. This is to the middle. There's an actual answer. Right? Okay. Well, I'm going to spoil it unless you have an answer. Um, I think you were probably some, some days. Some, some, some days. days? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, <clears throat> the actual answer is 19 minutes. What? 19 minutes. That's a long time free falling, though. That's How a long is that time. even determined? Well, um, how many miles it is to the you center could of the take earth. a dummy. How do they know how many miles it is to the center of the earth? Who's been to the center of the earth? Well, you well, measure I mean, from one side of the earth to the other, and that tells you how thick it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. it can be yeah, done. Okay. It can be done. Earth's I flat. guarantee you. <laughs> now, hang on now. I guarantee you not that flat. from space in the space station that they can take a photo of the earth. And there's mathematical equations that they can draw a diagram from one tip to the other, and it'll tell them how long or how um, how deep the Earth is. And then you just split it in half, right? She doesn't even believe there's a space station, so we're just, it's okay. It's all right. Lied. I don't believe in any of it. Right? Well, how can you now? All right. I don't believe in any yes, This is a whole other podcast. I don't believe in any <laughs> I just don't understand the fascination with Elon Musk then. Because he's got SpaceX. Yeah. That's why I want to meet him. Because he knows a bunch of secrets that they're hiding. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Right yeah. on. Right on. So, all right. We've reached about the end. So these aren't too bad, but uh, they are very crunchy. Very crunchy. <coughs> Rice pudding. Loved it. Was good. Yeah, I liked it too. The pineapple juice was pretty good. Um, I really like it. I thought it would be just a hair sweeter. Yeah, go ahead. Help yourself. <laughs> Mystery Twinkie. Uh, you know, I, didn't care I mean, it's okay. Um, that box will get ate either by me or, or some I'm, kids. Yeah, I have grandkids. I'm giving it to the kids. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. I very us. much yeah. appreciate it. Thank all you guys for watching. Please hit that uh, like, subscribe, <laughs> or follow button. And, uh, Take care of yourself and each other, and we'll see you next week.